what's going on guys today we're going to be reviewing we're not even going to review it actually we're going to review it but we're not going to review it we're going to review it put it in the vehicle and uh, see if it actually is way brighter than what they say it is right now i'm running the sylvania ultras and h11s in my truck and i keep having one blow out about every year one side will blow out i change them both um and then eight to 12 months later another one blows out so i found these serious leds h11 from e or from amazon actually uh for 62 dollars and i figured i would give them a try they had excellent reviews so we're going to see if the hype is actually where it's at so this is what they look like 62 bucks we're going to see uh see if the hype's there so we'll show you all a little bit about these these are basically plug and plays so here you got the bulb up oh, let me get out of the picture here so here you got the bulb zoom in come on there we go so now we got the bulb here and then it's got a fan on the back to keep this cool it's supposed to stay extra cool and, uh, and then you got your plug here zoom baby oh no back there zoom here there we go you got your plug and then you got your fan yeah now we're getting somewhere don't touch the bulbs on these is what i've been told but i'm not for sure so and then it turns and then blah 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 and it should set in there just like this and it should be very bright they say 4,000 lumens uh, from what i've been reading up on there's no such thing as a 4,000 lumen the highest you can get is 2700 some odd per bulb or something like that uh 3000 maybe but the ultras i have they are literally a 4300 for both and they're supposed to be, they claim 8,000. So it should be double brightness compared to what I'm used to. Once again, plug and play. Let's see if they fit. Let's see how well they work. We'll put one on one side and uh, leave one on the other side in and let y'all see exactly what they do comparison wise. So let's get going. All right guys, so I've got a cold air intake. So I just literally pulled this top off of it. This is on a 2008 GMC Sierra. <coughs> and it's as easy as just grabbing it and twisting it on this driver or this passenger side and pulling the old one out. Now this one's burned out, so I'm not really worried about it. So we'll pull it off here. So we got the old one out. This is the, once again, the H11 Sylvania's Ultras. They're pretty bright, I really liked them, but I figured if I'm gonna keep spending the money, let's try the LEDs. So, let's grab our bulb, see if it uh, plug and plays like they say. All right, we got our bulb here. These supposedly are waterproof as well. All right, that's in. Looks like it's turned the wrong way, but we will see. We shall see. All right, let's plug this in. Let's turn our lights on and see what happens. Well, I have to say it definitely does look brighter. Let me turn off these lights out here. Bam! Turn this light off right here. Maybe y'all can see the difference. It's a total different. So actually, what we're gonna do is we will close this garage door and let y'all see the difference in the light on the garage door being up close here. Definitely is different. Way more light. Um, it actually expands a lot. I thought there would be dark spots and stuff and the only thing I really see is this, this brightness up here compared to here but I, I mean that ain't gonna make no difference this is pretty pretty spot on where it needs to be so let's get the other side in and see what happens here 
I'm gonna let y'all hear the sound of this fan. Very quiet. All right, guys, we got them both installed here. Let's turn out this light right here, and let's see uh, what they look like when I turn them on. I mean, they are bright. They are definitely bright. So we'll get some footage here of driving around the neighborhood and see uh, exactly in the dark, dark. Total game changer. Man, see all the way back there. Yeah, these are pretty nice. Pretty nice. You can tell it's pitch black back here. That's why I came here. Now we'll go up here and turn around and come back through from the other direction. But man, these things shine. I wanted to get out of the truck here and show y'all since it's zoomed all the way in. I mean, from what you can see, of course you can see my shadow now, but however far you can see, I mean, from what I see, these lights are going all the way up to here, which, uh, you know, on the camera, it looks like they're a little, little lower than that, but they're really not. They actually shine a little brighter, but here they are. I mean, these things are pretty cool. In the video, now I don't know if it's going to look like this once we get the video onto a computer, but in the video, these look, they don't look as white as they are in, in real life. They look like a halogen bulb on my uh, camera screen, but they're, they're not. These are like a pure white with a little, I would say a little blue tint to them. Looking at them maybe a I mean just a tad blue tin it's nothing <clears throat> nothing crazy by any means but these are pretty white here and they do a very good job way better than uh, my halogens and another thing people worry about is is how hot do they get I mean these things are excellent I'm touching the thing right now and doing great I mean it's still cool to the touch it, it ain't even warm at all so let's get home here and get you some final thoughts all right guys so I guess the big question is is would I recommend these now when I installed these the LED bulbs went up and down and they should have been left to right I did not know this so the first part of uh, this let me just show you here I'll kind of do a side-by-side this part on the left is going to be with the LEDs up and down, which I found out later on that night after installing them that they should be left to right. It's my first time ever using the LED bulb, so I had to uh, pull that out and see if there was an adjustment. Now there was not an adjustment on this, so what I did is I pulled the little, there's a little screw that goes through, and uh, I pulled the little screw out and I drilled a hole where it needed to be and then I put the screw back in and tightened it and then I put them back in and now they are left to right so a little modification I had to do to get them to work properly but are they worth it definitely they are so uh, I mean I, I would buy these again in a heartbeat compared to the 50 50 to 55 dollar uh, Sylvania HD Ultra Sylvania Ultras uh, these are way brighter way brighter and they give that white look to them now they do have that little like I said that little blue bluish tint uh, when you're inside the truck you can tell it when you're outside the truck you really can't tell it looking it looks white but you could tell that it's got that little bit of bluish tint to it so guys I would definitely recommend these I'll leave a link in the description below so you can go get you some of these if you'd like definitely would recommend these uh, they have excellent reviews and so that's why I ended up getting them and you know what depending on how long they last is going to be the thing now they do come with a, a warranty on i'm pretty sure it's a, a two year but um i mean you can't beat that something goes wrong with it if i contact the company and their customer services is great then hey i'm, I'm still happy so, there's all the sizes you can get lots of different sizes 
and there's even a thing on Amazon if you put your car in the year make and model it'll actually tell you if these will fit your vehicle or not now these were plug and play very easy and I'm very happy about that plus they are very cool because of the fans on the back a lot of people were talking with the other LED lights that it made their headlight lens real hot and after driving around it's still cool very cool so I don't think they get hot at all uh, so that's the review on these guys hope you enjoy it links down below to go buy you some if you'd like see if they have a size that'll fit your vehicle and thanks for watching we'll see you in the next one